let's share our project. The last step of making is of course to share it. So let's get it on GitHub and document it nicely. Uh, I'm gonna create a little screenshot for the for the banner image. Just for like, you know, give it some give it some visual appeal. Make a little directory for docs. And we'll call this the poster image. That'll do. So we've got a image to share. And to get that like that nicer rendered image, I went to preferences and ray tracing. And that is a tool that will just give us a bit more realistic lighting, a bit more of an aesthetic image than just the simple CAD. Let's also generate a schematic for people, for people to refer to easily. So we can go back to our schematic and instead of going to plot, we can go to print. Uh, print the sheet reference and title block, why not? Uh, we'll deselect print in black and white and the page setup, I guess we can just leave as it is print that and I'm going to print to PDF. I'll put that in the docs folder as well. Just makes it a lot easier for people to refer to. So now we have our, our schematic output so that anyone can refer to this even if they don't have keycard. And you know while I'm at it I'll also I'll also do a screenshot of the schematic so we can put that in the github uh, readme excellent what else do we need for a good uh, a good github project we need a readme so I'll just make a text file and I'll open that up with my favorite text editor. Let's make a gorgeous looking readme page for our GitHub project. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with what I'm doing here, uh, a readme file is written with Markdown. That's just like a, a language that describes how a document should look like HTML does or LaTeX does. This is just a, a really, a very simple uh, version of those kind of markup Markdown languages. And this is the rendering of the document on the right. So this is our readme file for our repository. Okay, I think that's all we need to do. I'll initialize the repository. So I'm gonna open git bash here. That's, um, that's because I've downloaded the Git GUI. If you don't have this tool, just Google how to download Git and you'll be able to follow steps like this. But I'll initialize the repo with Git init. And you'll see the Git directory has appeared here. And over on github.com, we can create a new repository. I'll call it keycad tutorial it's public uh, I don't need to initialize with a readme because I've already written one and we're, we're done on this side so I just need to push an existing repository so what I need is this command uh, git status first so we haven't committed any files to be, we haven't uh, staged any files to be committed. So I'll just git add all, git status again. All our files have been added. And in fact, all the Gerbers have as well, which we don't really want. So what I'll do here is in the git directory that was created, we're gonna ignore all output files. So if I go to uh, info and exclude, we're going to add a listing here. This, is, this tells Git what to ignore for commits. And what we want to ignore is everything in the Gerbers directory. So now with this entry in the exclude uh, file, that will ignore all our output files in the Gerbers directory. So I'll use this command git remove recursive cached all that's just gonna 
that I already did that, so that's going to reset our git status. So now we have no com nothing added, nothing staged for committing. And now if I git add all and git status, we can see that none of the Gerbers are present in this list now because we've included them in that exclude uh, definition. First, I need to commit and I'll add a, a commit message and save that. And now we just paste in the two commands from GitHub. Awesome, that was successful. So I wonder now if we refresh this page there we have it. We have the readme file that we generated with the nicely uh, ray traced render, the schematic, and our commit message. Beautiful. Now your project is ready to share with anyone just by sharing the link with them. Anyone can fork this, download it, make changes, improve the project. There is one last footnote that I want to add though. If we go to settings, we can actually scroll down to GitHub pages. Now we can actually, GitHub lets you have a website for free for every project. And in fact, we can use the, uh, we can use the readme file for this project as the website. What I mean by this is if we just select master branch, that's all we have to do. We now have a, a website and it's published to our GitHub uh, profile. I already have uh, my own domain set up with GitHub, but if you did this, you'll see github.io forward slash your name or account forward slash the repo. So if we actually go to this, this, uh, this is rendered as a website and this is for free. So we can just share a, a complete website link with someone and every project that you make can just have its own free website. I think that's pretty cool. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I punched through that pretty quick, I know. So if there's anything that was unclear or you're uncertain about any points, please just let me know and I'll do my best to help out. Best of luck.